Hello, have a nice day to everyone. I am Neluka Karan Nagode, Assistant Librarian, Main Library, University of Colombo. Today we are going to learn Mendeley tool for assignment writing. This is a open source software that helps you to maintain a small library when you are doing your assignment, dissertation, thesis, and your university education. You can maintain or you can create a small digital library using Mendeley software. As well as when you are citing document, this software assists you to cite the document very easily. So today we are going to learn how to use the Mendeley reference management software. What is Mendeley? Mendeley is a desktop and web program produced by Elsevier for managing and sharing research papers, discovering research data, and collaborating online. So this software also helps you to uh, sharing your research papers. And you can discover the research papers that did by others, other, done by other people. Also, you can collaborate online by using this software. Then details of Mendeley. These details not needed when you are using the Mendeley software, but for your information, these details could be needful. So the original author, Mendeley Limited, this software is generated or produced by Mendeley Limited. Developers Elsevier, then initial release, August 2008. The operating system, which is mentioned as cross-platform, that means you can use this software with Windows as well as with the other open source softwares like Ubuntu, Linux, Fedora, you can use. This software is available in English language and the website is www.mendeley.com. You should have to remember this website because to do many things, you should have to create an account in Mendeley website or the create an account in the Mendeley and you have to log to that account. Then the next question is Mendeley, is it free or paid? Mendeley requires the users to store all basic citation data on its server. Storing copies of document is at the user's discretion. Upon registration, Mendeley provides the users with 2 GB, 2 gigabyte of free web storage space, which is upgraded, uh, upgradable at a cost. That means uh, the Mendeley basically free up to 2 gigabyte capacity. But if you need to exceed that capacity, for an example, if you are storing document and when you are creating your library and you are start to storing your document in the Mendeley website or the Mendeley your account, it gives two gigabyte storage free. But if you exceeding that two GB storage, then you should have to subscribe to a uh, plan, paid plan. Then Mendeley for whom? Basically Mendeley, the software support uh, four parties at the university education, students, researchers, lecturers, and librarians. So men how mentally supported to the student? When you are starting your undergraduate or postgraduate degree programs, if you have to write a dissertation or thesis, or when you are doing your uh, course modules, then you can store your books, assignments, uh, journal articles, and different kinds of document in the Mendeley Digital Library. So how it's, it will help to the student organize, read and annotate documents in one place. You can organize your, all your document in a single place. Then following inspirational research and see what's new. When you're using Mendeley software, it allows you to see the research works, what are doing by the other researchers. So it 
mind will open the windows to see what other researchers do in the world then as a student you can search and apply for science and technology related jobs using mendeley account then how mendeley is useful for researchers build a searchable library that makes it easy to find read and cite papers upload your data to a secure online location for easy access and sharing discuss current topics and collaborate with fellow researchers worldwide so this software is using worldwide so by participating or by collaborating to this software you will open all the windows to the whole world then how to access to the mendeley software so to access to the mendeley software first you should have to uh create a account in the mendeley website but when you are when you are thinking how to access to the mendeley there are three ways of accessing first through the web interface by using your browser you can access to the mendeley software the other way you can use a mendeley desktop version that mean you can install mendeley to your computer then without internet you can go to the mendeley software that was installed in your computer and you can use the mendeley software the third way you can use the mendeley mobile application when you are traveling or when you are going somewhere else if you have your android phone with you you can use that android phone and you can access to the mendeley software so it's used so many facilities when you are accessing to the mendeley basically web interface desktop version and mobile app so first we will look at how to create a mendeley account in the mendeley software to do that you should have to go to the mendeley.com then you there is a tab called create account if you don't have an account you have to create an account then by using your email address you can create an account then it will send an activation email to your email account by clicking the link on that activation email you can create you can finalize the creating of the mendeley account i will show how to do this first you have to access through the browser and you have to type mendeley.com here www.mendeley.com and when you click enter you can go to the mendeley home page this is how it looks like the mendeley home page there are so many tabs solution supporting sign in create account download and you can search the other articles or other research here and you can see create a free account so you just you have to click here when you click there it gives you a page like this sign in page but if you don't have an mendeley account if you don't have a mendeley account already you can click sign with different accounts then you have to enter your email address and then click continue then it is asking your username surname and password after you give all details then you should have to click register as soon as you click register it will send an email to your email address and you should have to open that email and you have to click the link given there after you click on that link the mendeley will create and register the account for you 
now we'll see how to sign in to your Mendeley account. To do that, you have to go to the Mendeley website again. Mendeley.com. Mendeley.com. Then there is a tab called sign in. You have to click on that tab. Then you have to enter your email address and password. Then click sign in. Just refresh if it's not loaded. Now you can see you had logged into your newly created Mendeley account. You can see there are different tabs, search, groups, library, and you can see your username, profile, and there is a search box also. This is how we can create a Mendeley account and log into your Mendeley account. Download Mendeley desktop. Now you had created your Mendeley account and you log into your Mendeley account. Now, how to download the Mendeley software to your desktop computer? To do that, again, you should have to go to the Mendeley account, www.mendeley.com. Then you have to sign into your account. And then there is a little drop down arrow near your profile. By clicking that drop down arrow, you can see a tab called download the Mendeley desktop version. By using that tab, you can download the Mendeley to your desktop computer. When you are downloading that Mendeley desktop version, it will ask what is the operating system that you are using. Then you have to se select the correct operating system that you are using. Then it will automatically download to your computer and create the desktop shortcut. I will show you how to do that. Uh, this is the Mendeley account that you had created and now you log there. You can see your profile there, Neluka. So you have to click on your profile and then you can see there is option called download Mendeley. After clicking this, it will automatically use another page, download Mendeley desktop for Windows and uh, it is for Windows. If you are using any other operating system, you have to select the operating system what you need. If you download it for Windows, then just you have to click here and it will download to your computer. After downloading the Mendeley software, you will be able to see a desktop shortcut. I will show you. Yes, here you can see the desktop shortcut created by Mendeley, Mendeley desktop. By clicking this shortcut, you can access to the Mendeley desktop version.
okay then we'll discuss the mendeley features what are the features that given by mendeley so before that we'll see how to log to the mendeley desktop version by clicking this shortcut it will allows you to open the mendeley desktop version here you have type your email address and the password then click sign in it will take you to the mendeley software this is the mendeley desktop version already there are a few libraries that i had created that's why it's filled this box if not this will be a blank white box so this is the mendeley desktop version interface right okay so now we you now uh, we'll see how to create a library inside the mendeley software so we can create different different libraries inside the mendeley software how to do that right first you have to go to this area in there you can see when you come little bit down create a folder the folder means uh, that is your library you can create a new library here i will create a library called test just you have to click create new folder then type name test and then press enter now the new library had created everything blank so this is the uh, first time interface you can see in the mendeley so now i created a library called test so now we created the library then how to add and remove articles after creating your library you have to you should have to add books journal articles uh this kind of document into your library to do that first you should have to download the pdf format of this document to your computer after that you can upload this document to the mendeley desktop version i will show how to do that so this is the library that we had opened in the mendeley software to add articles now first you have to download the pdf files into your computer and then you have to go to the there's option called add then there is a small drop down arrow you have to click on that drop down arrow then you can go to add files i have a few files previously downloaded so i will upload this general articles to the mendeley test library so i'll go to the desktop new laptop lectures for fourth years uh, there are few folders and i'll go to the advertisement folder in inside that advertisement folder you can see four journal articles or else i can go to the accounting folder there is in that uh, inside that folder there is one journal article so i'll select that journal article then click open and it will automatically add your mendeley library without adding one by one you can add few files all together so to do that again you have to go to add add files this time i'll go to the advertisement folder there are the in, inside that advertisement folder 
there are four journal articles i'll select all the four journal articles at once and click open and all the journal articles get uploaded to the mendeley test library so now these journal articles added to the mendeley library you can delete the pdf files from your computer now then we have to learn how to uh, delete a article for an example think if you are mistakenly at this journal article but you don't need that journal article how to delete this just you have to select that journal article right click on it and then there is option called remove from folder or delete documents the best option is to remove from the folder then you have to click on that then automatically that journal article will be removed so now you know how to create a library and how to add and remove the books journal articles into your library then we'll see how to read and work with your document if i need to read a journal article that was added to my mendeley library just i have to click on that journal article it will automatically open then you can read this journal article after you open this journal article then uh, you can read this so i uh, think you are reading the first page and now you move to the second page and you stop here when you are stop reading you should have to click there then think here you click right just click here think you close this document and after one month time you open that document again that was amazing you can read from the point you have you had stopped because the mental remember the place that you had stopped what you were for the last time and gives it to you it's a nice feature because you don't have to remember where you stop reading just mentally gives it to you so you can again can read from that place onward right this is how you can read a document in open a document in mentally if you want to open another document just you have to go there and open the other document can you see so both tabs are open there so you can just go to the articles by clicking on the relevant tab if you read the second document few pages then again you have to click where you had stopped for an example if you think if you think we stopped here then after closing this document or both document when you open in these documents it will gives it will start from the place where you stopped so it is very easy to easy to read from the place you had stopped then we'll see the next feature mark as read unread and favorite after you download or upload your documents to the mendeley software you can mark this document for an example after finishing 
finish reading of this document you can untick this green light then you know this do this document you already finish reading if you want to read it again then you can again click here and then that green bulb will pop up then you know this document you still not finished reading so you have to read it again as same as you can mark the favorite document for an example thing from these four documents this document this document these two documents are very important to you then you can mark this document as important by clicking on that star then that star will light up by using mendeley software you can search the document you had recently added and recently read to do that first you have to log into your mendeley desktop version i'll show you how to do that this is your mendeley desktop account this is my mendeley desktop account and when you go there you can see there is a tab called recently added you have to click on there then you can see the document you had added recently to the mendeley software you can see the date also added date also january 3rd 1 2 3 4 5 documents were added and december 30th another one document was added these are the recently added document to the mendeley and then if you want to see what are the document you had recently read you have to click on this tab recently read you can see there are a lot of documents recently read these are the document recently read by myself you can see the author title pub uh, added date and you can see uh, the last read also this document had read 5 hours ago this also read 5 hours ago and this document had read uh, 22 hours ago so this is how we can search for the recently added and recently read documents the next feature search for a specific document that you added for an example think you know previously you added a document to the mendeley library now you have so many documents in the mendeley library to show that i'll select my phd library folder there are so many documents there so now you want to find out a specific document but you don't remember the name or the date you had added but you just remember the name of the author for an example dr sriyalata from university of trichavadapur i just have to go to ser this search box and type start typing sriyalata when i type s r i it will automatically gives the document that relevant to your search factors contributing to student academic performance a case study of university of sri jawadampura m a k sriyalata so this is the document what i need so i can open that document and i can start reading so this is how you can find a specific document that you want from the mendeley library next related document after you adding so many documents to the mendeley website after some time you can check the relevant document through the mendeley website or the mendeley database that means uh, when you go you you have to go to your mendeley account and uh, there is a tab called related 
if you click on this tab the mendeley software automatically search the related document through their database and gives it to you these are the document that relates to, relates to your research area or the document that you had uploaded to the mendeley so just you have to click here then it will search through their database and if there are a new document relates to your document that you have added previously to the mendeley library then it will show here then we now you now we check how to add notes to a document to do that for an example think we'll we will open this document uh, influence of media context on humorous advertising effectiveness i'll open this document and when i am reading i feel uh, this section i should have to read it again so i can put a note here just i will select this section and there is a tab called note then i can put a note please read this section again right now i close this document and open this document again think you are opening this document after few months time then you can see the note there when you click on this note mark you can see please read this section again so if you don't want this note furthermore you can delete this by clicking on that recycle bin tab just you have to click here and it will get deleted from the mendeley now it ask whether you want to delete or not then then click on that document you can delete the document delete the note that you had put there as well as you can highlight the places you want in the mendeley software when you are reading few journal articles if you want to highlight the places what you had need then you can highlight to do that again you have to go to the article you need and you can open the journal article what you need and if you feel you want to highlight this section this section then you have to just you have to just select this section and you can use there is a tool called highlight so to highlight first you should have to select the color i will select the orange color and then go to the highlight tab there is option called highlight text then you can highlight the section or else you can first select the section and click the color you need and click on highlight i like text then it will automatically highlight the paragraph you need so after few uh, months when you are reading this document you can see the places that you had highlighted and the notes that you had put there so this is how you are highlighting and put a note to a document inside the mendeley library
then the mendeley features the synchronize your works when you upload a document to the mendeley website or mendeley desktop version after you finish your work for the day you have to click this tab call synchronize if you not click on this synchronize tab then if you after you finishing the work in your desktop computer and after you go to your office and if you open the desktop mendeley from your office computer it will not show the document that you had uploaded from your home to show it each time you finish your work in mendeley you should have to click the synchronize tab then it will automatically synchronize throughout your all uh, mendeley account for an example after you uploading a document to the mendeley from your home you have to click the synchronize button when you are closing your mendeley desktop version software then it will automatically synchronize with all your mendeley accounts and then if you are op if you open your mendeley account through web after you go into your office then that document will show there the document that you had uploaded from the home if not it will not show so please remember to click this synchronize button each time you finish your work at mendeley software then this is the very important part in the mendeley software how to generate citations in text citations and bibliographic details to a word software to do that you should have to go to your mendeley software first and then there is a tab called tool from there you should have to click install ms word plugin in my computer that plugin had installed that's why it shows as uninstall ms word plugin if you want to install the ms word plugin you have to click the install ms word plugin here after you have to remember before clicking the install ms word plugin uh, you have to close all the open word documents if not it will not allows you to install the ms word plugin after closing all the word document then you can click install ms word plugin here after installing the ms word plugin now we'll see how it works in the word document if you open any document any word document i will open this document the abstract help this is a abstract written by me so i open that document this is the document this is a word document after you open this word document when you go to the tab called reference now you can see there is a sub tab created for the mendeley this is the add on created on the word ms word software by using this you can cite your documents for an example think after you write these things you want to put a in text citation citation means when you are taking some others work for your documents you have to give the credit to that relevant person you can take their work, thoughts and their ideas and what they had written but you have to give the credit to them you have to mention them without mentioning if you take something from the others work it's called plagiarism or it's a it's called theft of information you can't do that in the university level education so you have to cite for an example think if i take the this paragraph from someone else then i have to cite so how to cite you have to go to the place where you want to put the in text citation then give a space and go to this section and you have to select the citation style 
in Mendeley, it will automatically generate the citations for you. If not, you have to remember the citation styles and how to cite from these styles in different, different citation styles. You have to remember how to do that from the relevant style. So in by, by using Mendeley, you don't, you don't have to remember how to do that manually, just you have to remember how to do that from using Mendeley. So you can go to this section and you have to select the style. So I will select the uh, APA 7th edition. I click on that style and go to the insert citation. You have to click on this button, then it will allow you to open this kind of a box, a box and you have to type a few words from your research article that you want to cite. I will type advertising for Sri Alata. Then uh, after open, it, open that document, just you have to select the document and click OK. Then it will automatically generate the in-text citation. Can you see here? The Sri Alata ND. So this is how you can create the in-text citation. If you want to put another in-text citation, for an example, I, I will go to put a, another in-text citation at the end of my document here. Then again, I go to there and put a space and go to insert citation and search for a document what you need, advertising effectiveness of the made in China TV advertisement, I select that document and click OK, and it will automatically generate the in-text citation. So now after finishing all the in-text citations, now you can create the bibliographic details. To do that, you should have to finish all the in-text citations and go to a separate new page. like this and just you have to click insert bibliography then it will automatically create all the bibliographic details for your all in-text citations see i put three in-text citations now automatically the mendeley software created all the citations bibliographic details in your Word document. So this is how you can create in-text citations as well as the bibliographic details in the by using the Mendeley software. Then uh, you know how to create citations and how to create bibliographic details for your document. Now web importer, uh, in the Mendeley software, there is a tool called web importer. When you go to the Mendeley desktop version, you can see inside the tool, there is a tool called install web importer. After you installing this web importer, it will uh, install a small add-on to your browser. And then by using that browser, when using that add-on, when you are reading a document through your browser, if it's a PDF document, without downloading it to your desktop computer, directly you can extract that document and upload it to your Mendeley library. Without downloading to your computer, directly you can download to the Mendeley library by using this install web importer tool. It is not very important, but you can try it. Then Mendeley feature, uh, join to a research network. If you are doing a research, you want to find others research as well to read. To do that, you can log into your Mendeley account First, to do that, you have to log into your Mendeley uh, web account. 
first this is the mendeli web account after you log into your mendeli web account you can see the place you can search in here you can type the keyword what you need to search i will type uh, cyber crimes cyber crimes and just you have to click search then it will allows you to find all the document that in the mendeli database for your access it will show the journal articles and books according to the time period if you want to access to the recent document then you can go to 2020 and then you can read the document that added in 2020 or else there is another categorization by document wise if you want to find the only journal articles then you can go to the journals only or if you want to go find the book sections you can search you can click here and you can read only the book sections if you need to find your information in books then just you have to click there and you can find the information used in the books so this is how you can collaborate with mendeley network and find the information what you need for your for your research then find a career with mendeley if you are a student you can upload the cv to the mendeley website and you can apply for a job then if there is a job relevant to your cv it will automatically gives alerts for you through your email account and then you can uh, find out uh, regarding that job and you can go to interviews and you can get a job through the mendeley website so you can upload a cv to the mendeley software or the mendeley website it is a good feature in the mendeley so to do that you have to log into your mendeley web account and uh, this is the home page then you have to go down and there you can see under the products there is a tab called career you have to click on that tab and it will open another new page in the mendeley so you can search jobs from here you can edit uploaded cv you can put an application from here you can click on my cv please upload a photo you can create a cv using this area and you can put the job preference your education qualifications work in experience and everything you can put here and it will automatically create a cv for you and if there is a relevant job for your preference it will gives email alerts to your email account by using the mendeley website you can easily apply for a job as well as you can easily find jobs for your preference then there is another great feature in the mendeley software it allows you to do the group works for an example if you are doing a group assignment the one student can upload all the document and one student can read and highlight these document and the next student can insert citations by using this document and prepare your final assignment to do that you can create a group in the mendeley software to do that log into your mendeley desktop version go to this area then under groups 
you can see there is option to create a group just you have to click on create group and then you have to give you have to give the emails of the members of your group and then by using their email and their mendeley accounts they can collaborate to your mendeley account and you can use the mendeley as a group so this is the place you can create a mendeley group just you have to click create group then you have to give a name and describe your group then you can invite the people that you need only to your group or it can be a private closed group or it can be a public group but mostly we are doing after creating the group we are inviting the people what we what what we need to our group and then all the members can work simultaneously using a one mendeley library that had created by yourself another feature you can uh, create a mendeley account using your mobile phone now we know how to create a mendeley account using website or the web interface and then we know how to create a mendeley account using desktop version and this is the final last stage you can create a mendeley account using your android phone then when you are traveling or when you are go somewhere else then just you can access to your mendeley account by using your smartphone to do that you have to go to the play store if it's android phone you can go to the play store then search by typing mendeley and it will gives you the mendeley app and you have to download that app if you are using a apple phone then you have you 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 should have to go to the apple store and select the mendeley app after installing the mendeley app on your phone by using the same username and password or by using the same email and the password you can log to your uh, mendeley account and you can work with your documents through your mendeley library so this is how the mendeley software install to your mobile phone and work through it so uh, now i think you got an understanding about how to use and how to work with the mendeley reference management software so are there any questions i will give 5 minutes to ask the questions and you can ask the ask your questions and you, you can raise your questions now okay i think if you don't have any further questions we can conclude this sessions now this session now so i think you got an good understanding about how to use the mendeley software and how to cite and how to generate bibliographic details using the mendeley software and how to create your own library using the mendeley software so this will very beneficial for your educational purposes because you can create your own library and you can maintain your library and you can read books and journal articles what you had uploaded to your library by sitting in any place anywhere from any time using the mendeley so this is a great software so i'll hope you will try this software with your own very quickly for the time being we will conclude the session now so thank you very much for participating for this session thank you very much again thank you